popular culture, let's talk dating apps. Uh, there's obviously they're annoying, and I don't think they really work. Something interesting in my case, which is, I don't really get any feedback. I don't really make connections very often, unless I pay, and if I pay, totally different ball game. So we see what's going on here. Basically, nobody they won't. Either women are getting so many, um, you know, messages that they don't see my messages, which is totally possible. And, of course, some of them are rejecting me. I'm not afraid to admit that that's what's happening. Um, we can't all be Brad Pitt. Uh, but, uh, you know, the fact that when I pay to have, like, my stuff, you know, hell, you know be more visible to, to women... Then I get lots of responses, so it's not a it's not a coincidence. I think. Anyway, um, there are many flaws in the dating app systems, right? But the biggest one to me that I noticed that I wanted to talk about uh, here today in this video is I was thinking about um, when I've been in really long term relationships, right? And I've always enjoyed those um, a lot. I love the stability of them. I like the support, you know, um, especially if they've gone on for a really long time. There's something interesting about the way that happens. Like, you really feel like you've got stability in a rock and things like that. Everything goes south at some point, I think. Uh, maybe not everything, but, you know, almost everything. Unless you're very, very lucky. Uh but my point is, is that I felt in those moments, not entirely, but in a lot of ways, I feel more grounded personally. I feel more um, supported. And so my work tends to, not always, uh, not in every regard, but uh, things in life tend to be a little bit more connected and f forward flowing perhaps I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel uh, like things are more together but when you're on a dating app and you're clearly single for most people um, you're kind of expected to be that fully stable and connected person and everything's working well and clicking and all that stuff but that's not how it is is it like you're you're there because you're you want someone or you're lonely it's a really weird thing that people spend a lot of time on dating apps telling you that they don't need you <laughs> you know what i mean but they're there for whatever reason like they do want to find someone but just so you know we're, we're i'm independent and i i i do have a great life and i'm happy with it and i love my life too but there are things missing for sure um and that's why everyone's there. So there's, there's a kind of like this puffing out a little bit of like, well, I don't need to be here, but I'm here anyway. And so I, th I think it's like a weird thing for us to expect people to be. It should be, I wish it was more honest is what I'm trying to say. Like this should be, I love when you come across photos where people are just like half awake or it's just like them and their cat and they're just like, you know. It's a picture of them eating cheese whiz with their finger out of the jar, and it says, this could be us. You know, that's real to me. Like, I love that kind of stuff. But that doesn't seem to be uh, the popular way to do things. So, anyway, I thought it was a weird thing. I'd be interested to hear your take on it, if you're on them or have been on them. Am I way off? Do you think I'm close? Am I hitting a nerve? Or am I on to something? <laughs>